Since the beginning of this pandemic, I have been clear that data and science would lead the way. In following that standard, it's clear that our numbers will keep us from moving ahead into the next phase of easing restrictions. As you just heard, Governor Cooper announcing that the state will not move forward with phase three of reopening. The governor also announcing that face coverings are now required in North Carolina to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Our Colleen Quigley is live in Raleigh tonight with the latest and Colleen, a lot going on. Yeah, Marius certainly is. Governor Cooper saying he is really concerned by those numbers, the increase in cases, the increase in hospitalizations. And you heard him say we're not where we need to be to move forward. So instead, we're going to be pausing, pausing in phase two, not going forward to phase three Friday as initially planned. Uh, this means bars, gyms, movie theaters are going to remain closed and capacity restrictions, social distancing requirements are still in place at restaurants and salons that are open. And now Cooper did acknowledge the financial hardship. This is going to be on those closed businesses, but he says this decision was driven by the continued increase in cases, and he specifically cited hospitalizations, saying in a month they have increased by 56 percent. The numbers we see are a stark warning, and we must pay attention. I'm concerned. As we've watched and studied and dissected these numbers in recent weeks, that concern has grown. Since the beginning of this pandemic, I have been clear that data and science would lead the way. Now, the second decision today, that statewide mask mandate or face covering mandate goes into effect Friday. You're going to have to wear a face covering when you're outside or inside when you can't social distance. Uh, that's when you're at a restaurant, when you're in a store. The employees of those restaurants and stores are also going to have to wear masks, as well as workers in manufacturing, construction, and meat processing plants. Now, there are some exceptions if you have a medical condition and for small children. Uh, the governor was asked today, how does he plan on enforcing this? And he says that businesses will be cited if they do not follow this mask mandate. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colin Quigley, CBS 17 News.